So this is problem 7-7 seven, seven, and we have this circuit here and it has a switch. So it goes from here to the second orientation to here and then lastly it goes from here to here. Okay, so there are three things that we need to examine. There is the time before t equals zero. So t is less than zero. The circuit looks something like this. So we have the 10 kilo ohm resistor, 10 kilo ohm. And then we have a two millifarad, millifarad uh, capacitor right there. And this is 15 volts and it happens for a long time. So the voltage across this capacitor here for if it's hooked together, the circuit for a long time, for a long time, this voltage across here is equal to uh, is equal to 15 volts. So the voltage across here is equal to this if we let it go for a long time. Okay, so that's T less than zero. The voltage across the capacitor is 15. Now, when T is in between zero and one, in between zero and one, we have this switch that switches over to B. So we have this connected here. Okay, so we have it connected at B there. And the circuit looks a little different. So there we have, um, sorry, the we have it hooked up. So we still have the capacitor resistor here. And the capacitor is still two millifarads. And this is 500 kilo ohms over here. And we have this situation. And this is a source free, source free um, RC circuit. And we have a equation for that. Remember that the voltage across here, VC, is going to equal V naught times E to the negative T over tau. We have this equation for a source free RC circuit. Tau here is equal to R times C. So if we multiply R times C, we have 500 times 10 to the third, because this is kilo, and two times 10 to the negative third. Okay, so these two cancel out, right, 10 to the third, 10 to the negative third. So we have 1,000, 1,000 seconds. Okay, that's what we have for our time constant, our tau that goes in here. And V naught, the original voltage at time equals zero, Right, this is the voltage at time equals zero, is our 15 volts. This is T less than zero. So we have 15 volts is the original voltage of so 15 volts. So that means between zero and one, we have the equation, the voltage across the capacitor as a function of time is equal to 15 
times e to the negative t divided by 1,000. I believe that's correct. Yes. So this is the voltage between zero and one. Now let's take a look at the voltage for T is greater than one. For T is greater than one, we have a different circuit, a different circuit. So if we take a look, let's bring back this circuit here, bring this down. So for T is greater than one, it switches to C. So we just have this portion of the circuit there. So um, for T is greater than one, let's draw that circuit. We have the one kilo ohm. And then we have the two millifarad circuit here. Okay, so this is another source free, source free RC circuit. So we will still use the same equation here that we have the voltage across the capacitor VC as a function of time is equal is equal to V naught times E to the negative. And because it is T greater than one, T greater than one, what we have up top is T minus one. Because we are talking about the time here as greater than one. So when T equals one, we have V naught, right? This is, Okay, so this is our equation. We have tau, our time constant, is equal to R times C here, which is going to be one kilo ohm times two millifarads, which comes out to be 2,000, I believe. So, uh, no, one kilo ohm, one kilo ohm, one times 10 to the third times two times 10 to the negative third. That comes out to be these cancel two seconds. Two seconds there. So what is V naught? What is the original voltage? Well, between when T was between zero and one, when T was between zero and one, we had the equation 15 E to the negative T divided by RC, which was uh, 1000. So at V is equal to one, this equation was 15 times E to the negative T, well, negative one over 1000, which comes out to be 14.985 volts at T equals one. So we put this value into our V naught because this is the equation for T equal, is greater than one. So that turns out to be VT is equal to 14.985 E to the negative T divided by two here, or T, T minus T minus one over two. So putting this all together, our voltage across the capacitor at time t, 
we have three equations. It is equal to 15 volts at T is less than zero. We have 15 E to the negative T over 1000 for zero to one second. And then after one second, we have 14.985 E to the negative T minus one divided by two for T, T greater than one. So we have this, fun these functions are then the voltage across the capacitor as we switch from B, A, B, and C there.